Okay, welcome back, and we're going to look at the final sub-region of this Bordeaux region in what is the Entre-de-Mer. Now, the Entre-de-Mer uh, is uh, a, a region. It's also the name of an appellation, which is a white wine appellation. Why Entre-de-Mer? It comes from the French Entre-de-Mer, which is, means between two seas because it sits between the Garonne uh, 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 River and the Dordogne River. It's a region that's uh, known for producing more affordable wines, more volume wines. Uh, there's a whole array of appellations uh, in, the, in this uh, sub-region. Many of these wines, very affordable wines, both in white, in red, and in a rosé appellation. The most renowned is probably going to be Bordeaux, Bordeaux Supérieur and Entre Deux Mers uh, for the whites. So Bordeaux can be both white and red uh, and rosé. Bordeaux Supérieur, red, Entre Deux Mers, white. The, the wines here, as I said, uh, are very uh, approachable in terms of, of price. In terms of terroir, what we have here is a mix of uh, um, clay, uh, limestone, limestone, and very much of sand. Uh, we're going to have the whole selection, the whole array of grape varieties from the Bordeaux region, and the blends are, are going to be also very uh, all over the place. It really depends on the chateau. A whole uh, a big, big uh, um, number of chateaus are found in this sub-region, many of them producing higher volumes, uh, cheaper wines. Many of them have had a very difficult time over the past 30 years where I'm sure you've heard in the press, you know, people were constantly talking about prices of Bordeaux increasing, going through the roof, 2000 vintage, 2005 vintage, the 2009 vintage, 2010 vintage. And we were talking about all these great vintages and prices exploding through the roof. This hasn't been the case in this region of Bordeaux. The wines have been pretty stable in terms of prices. They've had a very difficult time um, because people haven't been buying these wines. Um, Many of them, uh, many businesses have, have, you know, gone out of business over th the last 30 years. And we're seeing much and much more very large producers, négociants and cooperatives uh, dominating this region and producing very uh, affordable wines, sometimes very cheap wines um, in everything that cheap wine represents. But uh, please don't look at this region of the Entre Deux Mers, the appellations of Bordeaux, Bordeaux Supérieur, uh, the Première Côte de Bordeaux, as cheap, uh, poor wine. There are some great uh, little chateaux to be discovered uh, in this region. Uh, so do look for these wines if you're looking for approachable wines. They're not going to be wines with the aging potential, obviously, of what we have in the Médoc. They don't have the elegance but you know for uh, everyday or you know weekend enjoyment here and again they're wonderful uh, there's some wonderful chateaus in this region again in terms of food matching typically i would say to you entre deux mer is going to be uh, sauvignon uh, uh, dominated wines there are going to be wines that are superb with uh, the seafood that you're going to get uh, from the atlantic ocean oysters, uh, all types of seashell, um, and some of the freshwater fish that you get in the Garon River. On the reds, um, we're, we're often going to have Merlot-dominated wines, but it, not always. It makes them very middle-of-the-road wines that, are, that go with many dishes, so we can have the very tannic, uh, the very protein-dominated dishes, the red meat but also, you know, you could go for, for other types of, of meat, white meat, uh, and those kinds of Merlot-dominated wines are perfect middle of the road, perfect wines to have in the restaurant. If there are a few of you, um, someone having maybe fish, someone having white meat, someone having red meat, that Merlot-dominated Bordeaux is going to be the perfect middle of the road to, uh, to accompany 
uh, all of you as you're eating. I hope you've enjoyed uh, discovering this final region. Uh, I know that it's a region people very often overlook. I think it's a region that offers great value for money. Again, like the Côte de Bordeaux, these two regions are very little spoken about. I wanted to, to very much discover, I wanted you to discover them during this uh, Bordeaux Masterclass because I do think they're very important within the general uh, Bordeaux uh, region. That is it for the, our look at the subregions. In our next module, we're going to be looking at uh, the Bordeaux uh, trade, uh, buying Bordeaux wines. I look forward to seeing you in our next video.